Hi, good morning, good morning everyone, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, how are you guys this afternoon? Um, good morning, good morning, just going to see if I can um, get a few folks on this morning, Facebook Live, um, out here having the grand pleasure of watching the sun rise this morning uh, over the beautiful island of Oahu. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So, um, got here just in time. Looks like it's trying to break out of the clouds behind it. Um, but I am not just here for the view. I am definitely here um, with a word. Uh, good morning, everybody who's joining. We're watching the sunrise over um, Oahu. Uh, but as we do that, up this morning it, it amazes me how the spirit just comes and um and shares a word and how important everyone is right how important everyone is and what came to me this morning was that um just about being bold and humble uh so you know I, I'm just a conduit like the Holy Spirit just the Holy Spirit just put um a word on my heart this morning it was like Delilah you need to get up and you need to get up now and, and share this word. And it's somebody so important on the other side of my obedience that the spirit keeps tugging at me um, to, to share these messages. And it's either you or someone else that you're sharing the word with that it's intended for. So I'm just here this morning quickly to remind us to be bold but humble. <laughs> Excuse me, bold but humble. And you know, the the word of God tells us that, you know, that the Lord is our helper and we shouldn't fear anything that man could do to us and that we should we should go, you know, courageously and, and we should be strong in the in the will of God. But what we what what gets us caught up sometimes is that humility piece. And if we are to be humble unto God, right, knowing that all things, all resources, all tools are coming from God. Um, but we're not to shy away and be small. God wants us to be strong and be bold um, when when stepping into his will and, and doing his great works. And um, it, it could be anybody on the other side of your message, on the other side of your obedience. You could be reaching out to strangers and changing lives of strangers. You could be changing lives of communities or just something more intimately changing the lives of your family. But when God, God has called you to do a work, there's something inside of each one of us, a natural grace that God has given us, a natural talent that God has given us. And some of us are sitting on that thing because we're too afraid to step out. We're too afraid to take risks. We're too afraid to not be perfect. But God has told us that if God can be for us, then who can be against us? And I'm just here this morning to encourage us to step out on faith. Step out on God's promise for your life. Right. Um, and, and it really kind of struck me because I got the verse about uh, the apostles in the in the book of Acts 4 and 13, where it says the members of the council were amazed when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, for they could see that they were ordinary men with no special training in scriptures. They also recognize them as men who had been with Jesus. So don't think that you have to sit back and you need a special set of credentials or a special training to walk in what God has called you to do. You just need the ordained word of God to have been put on your life and move in that thing. Be bold. Be bold to move in that thing. But when you are bold, remember how you got there. Know that it is the word of God and the grace of God that is moving through you. Know that it is not just you, you know, showboating, showboating on your own accord. Know that it is God moving through you, but be bold. Step out. And then I also heard, and that's one of the reasons why I am where I am right now, I also heard rise up. Rise up. We are, it is time for us to rise up, family. We cannot no longer sit back and be comfortable there are people waiting on the other side of our obedience and, and our boldness. There, um, there are generations, there are children waiting on the other side of our, our, of our obedience and our boldness. So now is the time for us to rise up. He told me also to get out of my bed. I was comfortable in my bed 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago. I rode up here on my bicycle to, this, to the shore of this island 
to watch this sunrise because this is the picture that he gave me. It was the sun rising up over the mountain. It is time for us to come from behind our fears, come from, um, come from behind our spirits of rejection, come from behind everything that the devil has set us behind, and it is time for us to rise up from behind that thing. Just as the sun is illustrating this morning, as it is rising up from behind a diamond head in the distance, as it is rising up behind the clouds, it is time for us to rise up, fam. So as always, I encourage you to seek the word of God. Um, and if you, if you don't know where to start, just pray. You know, Father, give me the tools. Father, give me a thirst for your word. Father, grow me closer to you. Just start there. Just start there every day and see what happens. But it is time for us to rise up, fam like it is here for this sun on the beautiful island of Oahu as it is rising up behind the mountains and the clouds. God has called us to rise up. It is time to rise up. So with that, fam, uh, I think I'm going to switch this around. Yeah, and bid you guys a great day. Um, it's, it's time for us to be bold, bold yet humble. Look that up. Look that up. Just Google it. What, the, what does the Bible say about being bold? What does the Bible say about being humble? But it was my duty this morning to be a conduit for the spirit to you or whomever you're going to share this message with. That is it time for you to rise up. It is time for you to rise up as the sons and daughters of Christ should. That thing is beautiful. It's breaking through. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. So, so I'm not done. It is breaking through. So as we rise up, thank you, Holy Spirit. Just stay here with me. As we rise up, there will be breakthrough. Mm. As we rise up, there will be breakthrough. There will be breakthroughs in our families. There will be breakthroughs in our community. This is a prophetic word from God. There will be breakthroughs in our community. There will be breakthroughs in our nations. There will be great breakthroughs. But it will cause for us to rise up just as the sun is breaking through. As it rises up, it breaks through. And I don't know how long the sun's going to take to pop up, just like we don't know how long it's going to take for those breakthroughs to come in our lives. But it is promised, it is promised, just as this thing is going to pop up eventually through these clouds, there will be breakthrough in our lives. There will be breakthrough in our communities, but it will take for us to rise up. It is not for God to do everything. God has done what he's going to do. God has sent his son for our salvation and our redemption. He has given us the word of instruction. Now he has put us here to activate us to rise up to do the things we need to do. To do the things that we need to do. So the picture this morning fam. And it's, it's coming up so bright now that the camera's even getting blurred. Thank you Jesus. We are to rise up so that we can break through. Somebody is waiting on the other side of your obedience. Somebody's breakthrough is waiting on the other side of your boldness. So, family, it is time for us to rise up so we can break through. Rise up so we can break through. Save a nation this morning. Save your family this morning. Speak life and the word of God over the things in your life this morning. Go through today or this afternoon. Go to, through today with, a, with, a, with, a God, with God's grace over your life. Show up today looking like God really loves you and sacrificed his old, uh, own son just for your salvation. Just for your salvation and your inheritance and your blessings. But again, fam, the word today, hey, Chantrice, thank you, love, bless you too, um, is that we, it's time for us to rise up. Stop sitting on the sideline like you're waiting to be activated. You have been activated. You've been called and you've been destined. You've been justified and glorified. Um, so rise up so we can break through, fam. But that is the word that the Spirit put on my heart this morning in my comfy bed because sometimes it's not comfortable when God calls you to do something. Sometimes you got to get up out your bed at 530 in the morning after you have jet lag and you have to jump on your bike and rush down to the beach to catch the sunrise because God has told you to tell the people something. God has told you to tell the people something. So it's not comfortable, but you got work to do. If you want to change the world, it's going to take for you to take for you to do some work. It's just kind of that simple. Hey, Diddy Ross. Ah, hey, Diddy Ross. Um, so, yeah, get up and do it. Um, I know I got plenty more to do today, but uh, I, I took the first step out at obedience this morning. And my task and my objective is just to continue to be obedient throughout the day. I won't be perfect, but I'll be a lot better than I was before I start to try to be obedient. So, fam, rise up. Rise up and break through. Until, I, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Aloha. <laughs> Enjoy. Love you guys.